Hey, welcome back. We are at the Midwest Pre-Modern Championship. Probably the last championship of 2022 for Pre-Modern, you know. <laughs> and uh yeah, we're gonna we're in the finals here. We're gonna crown our champion. It's between Jeff Green from Milwaukee and Red Green Goblins and our very own Will Hurst from Misty Mountain Games on Mono Blue Stifle Knot. I am joined here in the booth with some millennial on his phone <laughs> named Lester Smerling, who actually just lived, lived well, didn't really live through this exact same matchup you're going to watch. We just covered Red Green Goblins versus Mono Blue Stifle Knot, and now Jeff's going to have to do it all again. See, Lester's really doing, well. doing everyone a favor right here, because right? otherwise we would have a Mono Blue Stifle Knot mirror, snooze fest, yeah. don't like that. And everyone we, loves Goblins, so everyone's, yeah. We, and, and we picked, BK and I picked Goblins is one of our deck to win. So for that to happen, you need to lose. Right. So. This is us against the field. Yes. yes. Um, no, I threw it for you guys. Yeah. 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 And, I uh, feel like in the in the finals against Will, I would have been out trash sock him a little bit. <laughs> I like. I feel like the trash sock would have would have impacted the game. Yeah, I think you could have you could have thrown him off his game. I think. Ooh, I think we should we should talk about that. We like the one game where you attacked for lethal. Made sure he went to negative four. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I like the, that. Yeah, that was that good. Was, that was a good one. Yeah. Yep. We appreciate those little things. You guys didn't see it. I did get crumbled at one point. Um and get crumbled? It. Yeah. Yeah, I fought through I fought through swords, abolish, auras and seals, and then he he tapped green for crumble. Who was that? Ian? Yeah. I had to call a judge to see if a crumble was legal. It is. <laughs> it's, legal. it's a chronicle, <laughs> right? Yep. I gained a life though. So yeah. you know. The fourth knot. All right. Yeah. All right, we're going to jump down to our match as our players are shuffling up. We have Will on the right with the Mono Blue Stifle Knot. He's taking the place of Lester. Who's the top seed? Uh, that I, I do think not it know. was Will. But I'm not sure. Will just I can't, figure that he can't out. keep getting lucky. He's got no, he's got no browbeat in this deck. But he's got real cards this time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, um, so let's, uh, we should find Will's list, because I want to see what's different between the two of you. I think Will's got... Will has one disadvantage compared to you. He has a null main deck. Yeah. But you lost game one anyway, so... That's Will, true. Will is on the play. I tried to lose game one. I think that the, the turn one, um... Foil his lackey might have. I think that was no, the I think right that's play. Good. Like it, we I, talked about that. Like the difference between a turn one lackey and a turn three lackey is really tight. Nice. Yeah, like it's and I, like that game is really hard for you. He just <laughs> connects. He puts CJ yep. in a play, and then even if you have a dreadnought, you might not even be able to race it. And he had told me he had talked to um, Trader Sam Black and Adrian Sullivan about mulliganing to turn one lackey, and they had told him to do it. So like it, it was a wow. Good... So they turned so, on you, huh? They did. They turned on me. Yeah. Well, well, like, the one thing with the mono blue list is they don't have lotus petals, right. that, and so because you could do that really aggressively in some of the against the, some of the other ones and just face down a turn one dreadnought, and then then it's kind of awkward. Yeah. You, but the difference is now a lot of the goblin decks have resources like cards like Manic Naturalize. You at least have the way to answer a, a dreadnought that comes down. Yep. I can't wait for you to rewatch the commentary on that last match. I think I think I nailed it. I think I nailed you. <laughs> I <hope so. laughs> Exactly. There was one point. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> All I gotta say, if, if I had Caltrops in that matchup, I might have won it. That's the got a powder keg. The secret card. Yep. Yeah, they probably didn't. They probably have the natural eyes. Do you do you like powder keg against goblins? I think I think because I was on a play, I thought it was gonna be fine All if right. I could get his uh, lackey. Because right. he was gonna try to play around days a little bit. He let me daze his um, power driver too, which I thought was weird. You think power driver is better than uh? He had the prospector. I actually yeah. like him. I like I that play. The, yeah. I mean, it, it might depend it because he did have like a mog fanatic right away. Then maybe I can see yeah. wanting the, the additional pressure. But I think in general the manas were better than uh, obviously. Pro blue is not very good against the dreadnought. Yeah. But the Jeff yeah. Mulligan, the lackey, turn one probably again. Lackey or naturalized, he said as a strategy. Boom. There's a lackey. Just English, not not foreign or anything cool. Who's you know? gonna opt? <laughs> Let's get critical, Lester. Yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, not that any, not that you're holding a grudge or yeah, anything. Yeah, wrong mountain, not cool. Days. Yeah. 
Well, let's play in modern days. Of... <laughs> it's not the top four we deserve. The top, the finals we deserve, people. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just gave me your deck. <laughs> like, here. Watch how federal. much better this is. <laughs> <laughs> we had foreign cards cause issues already. Can I put yes. my crap, 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 can I put my crappy and in? No. <laughs> Crows and reclamation caused some issues because it was foreign. So we see a daze right. on Will the... is just daze and everything. Daze is lackey, daze is pile driver. Days for days. Days, know, days, days and days. And days. I mean it's probably fine. Who knows this game? I've my respect for pile driver just dips and dips. Yeah. I think one is probably the right number. Oh, Goblin Master Lester Smurling supports my decision. Yep. <laughs> it's a good tutor target, but it's really bad against most other decks. Yeah. I do tutor for it a decent amount. Yeah. Definitely worth the one spot. And I'm not killing the process. <laughs> the Dreadnought. It's a May ability. It is. Goblins is one of the few decks that might be able to get enough creatures out to kill that thing. <laughs> the Dreadhead? Yeah. I feel like if you've got 12 Goblins of Blade. Are you going to Siphon the ability? What do you guys think about Siphon the ability actually shows that it's just a matron? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> I think you still do. I think you still do it too. That is one thing I will say when you're playing against the mono blue deck. Be be aware that they do have staples, staples, because I know a couple people just pick up their deck on fetch lands and start going. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> well, we talked about it when Jeff had the wooded foothills. Yeah. yeah. Like spoilers, his spoilers, fourth. Spoilers. <laughs> and uh, using it on like uh, to deny like the the, the green, the green man. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was tight. I think I was just holding Carpools and Forest. Did but... everything. Jeff might be the Goblin Master. He's, he plays the deck really well. Yeah. Thanks to Adrian Sandbach. He yeah. went to uh, fetch the <laughs> Goblin Tinker, which we had seen is, is pretty problematic if, if it resolved against the Dreadnought deck. I mean, the Dreadnought deck does have quite a bit of play against it. I agree. I don't think it... Like, I took it out of my Goblin deck because I just didn't yeah. think it did enough. It's all right, but you got, you got quite a bit of play against it. All right, Google Jeff down. gets that first game. It, was... it looks like there was a, a lot of malfunction on his deck, though. On Jeff's or Will's? Will's. He only had one land for most of the time, right? Yeah. Well, that happens when you daze over and over and over. <laughs> well, he never played a second land, though. Yeah. What's Will I daze two if I don't have another land to play. What's Will got in the sideboard? Does he have anything cool? No Masticors, but he probably wouldn't bring them anyway. <laughs> They're Sorry. cool Masticors. He has two Annals. Nope. Four Hydra Blast, yep. one Boomerang, two Cursed Totems, two Null Rod, two Alexi's Cloak, one Brain Freeze, one Mana Short. He's been bringing in Cursed Totem an awful lot. I see him with that and play it almost every match. I think Cursed Totems. I would not bring it in against Not Goblins. great here. Yeah. Well, it stops CGing from flinging. I don't think stops... that's the fight you. Well, I mean, it's a way to, to fight Tinker. I guess. Yeah, if I fight Tinker, right, and I might back up CGing. on that. Like, um. I mean, I mean, he, he's got four terrible nulls he's got to cut, right? Does he have that many in the main? Just two? two. Yeah, he's got two. two. How many the land? 16. The problem is, is like, I feel like the dynamic of the goblins deck changes in the post board. Like, you can't just say, I'm going to try and not die. Or like, I'm going to try and just protect my run up because they have so many more ways of interacting. With I them. agree. I actually thought about cutting counter spells. In the matchup, because I just think that's that counter spells not the right fight. Yeah, he talked about you siding him out, and then you immediately close, close. Played. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I pulled them all. I pulled them all to the front to take them out, and then I figured it might go a little bit longer. It's kind of comical the stuff I said in the match, and then what immediately happened after every time. It was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, I probably have a counter spell. And, like, probably, Lester probably didn't leave counter spell against so them. Plays play a counter spell immediately after I say that. <laughs> I had him pulled up. I, I, I all day I've been taking out portents in every matchup. Oh. I just feel ashamed when I cast it. Um, Why don't you play sleight of hand? That's, a, do, good, that's I, a good spell. I do have Mike Long sign sleight of hand. <laughs> like, <laughs> I swear to God, I got four Mike Long sign ones. 
That's amazing. Yeah. What did you actually sideboard up? Um, four ten. No, I you didn't because you portent. almost forgot to draw up it. Yeah, I sat on Boomerang, <laughs> Reality Ripple, and one portent for three, for two Hydro Blast, Blue Elemental Blast. Um, and I sided in the two power kegs for the two uh, disrupt. Mm. Yeah, disrupt not so hot. No. So you had two disrupts. He had two annuls. So you're both yep. kind of have crappy cards against the. Did stack. you get to disrupt anything this tournament? Yeah, I disrupted a couple people. Um, Gerard's verdict. Okay. Disrupt that bad boy. Oh, like you want to get rid of two cards? Nope. Yep. I'm gonna draw one. In my top eight match, I uh, disrupt played a part. I cycled disrupt to make him tap and then daze. So okay. that was fine. How many times did you wish it was for Spike? Um, not not at all, actually, to be honest with you. I wish it was Mana Leak a lot of times, like mm. Mana Leak or something like that. Or two Mana Counters? Or yeah. actual Counter Spells, since you don't play four? I played four. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Most people seem to play three now. I don't understand that. You never break up the yeah. set of Counter Spells. Do you have issues? We, we talk about... Oh, like, I play four different arts when I do. <laughs> we talk about the issue with the Dreadnought, like the Mono Blue version of only having four Dreadnoughts. Was there a lot of times that you wanted more copies? No. 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 There's a lot of times I pushed another Dreadnought to the bottom. Okay. Well, it's easy to say when you already have one. I do think the Melee Mage version is better just because you get you get a few more threats. Okay. And you can be a little bit proactive with your mana. Like, you yeah. can answer one of their answers. And, like, the, in the mirror matchup, you can just name Dreadnought, and then they can't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have not seen Stifle Knot ever play Memory Lab. So that seems like a card I think that, that card's great. could be really good. Uh, yeah. I actually wanted to play, so my original version had Peak, because I was going to play uh, Melee Mage. I thought Peak Mage was good. And I wanted to play Memory Lapse and Predict. Okay. Um, and if you're playing Portent, like, Predict can be good, too. So Yeah, maybe... I can get behind Predict Engine and Stifle Knot. Yeah. Not so much in Lightning Angel deck, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. In Stifle Knot, it might be really good. Flint. <laughs> <laughs> Once I once I set that back that deck back years. <laughs> I'm not just really good in the counter spell work too. Like yeah. it's just so good. There's not Japanese versions. I get like there's French a seventh there's a seventh edition one. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. This memory lapse does seem pretty good in the Adrenal list. All right, Will's gonna kick things let's off. Let's build. Well, let's build. Let's build predict or not. I would play that. Yeah. I really want someone to play show and tell against me all day. I was waiting. Come on, left. That's Matt with a day. Get him. Get him, Will. <laughs> Hey, Glisten, were you the rock player I played Future Sighting against? Because <laughs> that was pretty gross. I think Jack does have like a six card sideboard for this matchup, though. Yeah, he does. He, he's, uh, he has three disenchant effects and that he brings in beyond the two he has main deck. Yep. And, and then, then he has three blasts. Yep. And no. I will never play Predict in Lightning Angel. Hey, Glisten. No. If that's what you're implying. I'm future sight for life. Future sight ride or die. <laughs> uh, we did the raffle. That's Phil like at Turbo Grub. We did the raffle oh. after like round four, I think it was. Yeah. So we we picked our our winners there. But you had said one of them was someone from the online, right? Yes. So yeah. We will awesome. be contacting via email, I believe, if that's the contact we have. Yes. And letting you know and reaching out. Will Hurst actually won the sweater, and he has it hanging out himself. Um, he did. Well, he was wearing it, and it's, it's kind of warm in here. <laughs> it is a pretty sweet sweater, though. It is. Yeah. It's a uh, lot roomier than I thought, too. Like, one, of, to one of our judges, Jake, Jake Seagor, won the uh, Balancing Tings deck. Um... Somebody won the red deck. <laughs> so, a stasis player won the red deck. 
Okay, that's that's good then. I think that's like a good a good way to push him yeah. away from boring magic to like interactive magic. That's good. I feel like we saved a soul. I mean, yeah. I feel like stasis is interactive magic. Like There's in like between the games, spells. he was like he was like looking at it and he's like, wow, what does like lightning bolt and stuff do instead of like <laughs> yeah. stasis? Wait, yeah. they this does three damage? Yeah. Wow. Like, oh, I can I can finish and go talk but, to my friends. But they yeah, still get to untap, like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like. All right, mountain, mountain, and I, I, I think port's potentially pretty great against this deck. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I yeah, you just got mana flooded every time I was I'm out against you. <laughs> I did. Respect to Jeff, he still tapped your land down every time. Even <laughs> you had eight eight islands in play, <laughs> and did. probably couldn't couldn't like possibly matter make a difference. Spend eight mana in a turn if you. It's like, yep. if that was your had goal, to yeah. had to save your life, but that one down. I will also say, Jeff didn't just say tap an island. He said tap that island, which okay. was really Good. nice. Like, yeah, he Good. was putting a target on it. Like yeah. that's that guy's not doing anything for you this game. He's gotta let you know. Yeah, I liked it. Terrible impulse, like an awful art for impulse. Like, I like it. I just don't understand. Everybody was making fun of the whiteboard. I want to rip this guy for this one. Well, believe me, people do. <laughs> I was talking up the white border one. I was on Team White Border, so. White Border, Gold Border, I don't care. The White Border one is sweet. Our Gold Border one is sweet, yeah. And you had him. There was a time when I tr always tried to play White Border if it was like a weird White Border. <laughs> Just to... The anthologies, White Borders are really cool. The anthology set? Yeah, those anthologies, cool. beatdown yeah. box set, all those. Oh. Hey, Jeff, not really presenting much. Jeff doesn't really have to, though, because he's got so many answers. He can, he can yeah. just thank you eventually. He's the control deck. Yeah, he really is. Um, I think that the one card I, I considered I didn't play was Chill, but I think maybe Chill would be good in the Stifle Knot list. Aren't you like usually pretty good against the red decks though? This was the only this was the only red deck I played all day. Okay. What were the decks that you faced today? Uh, a bunch of Rich Shays parfait deck. Nope. Okay. Thanks a lot, Rich. Um Tradewind Tradewind deck. I gotta stifle the uh comes with the playabilities and stuff with that. Okay. Um Stasis, Adrian Stasis. And you played against the Hermit. Yeah, I Hermit, the yeah, English yeah. breakfast. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I had so many, I had so many stifles in hand against him, and I just messed up. Is it the guy that was uh, that organized? Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. Don. Yep. The guy who organizes. Wow. Yeah. The real man behind the scenes. I will say, Jeff was saying he's very excited to get foil mountains of this picture for the new set. I like oh, he's he's willing to put more money into this deck. Did that happen? Did they reprint this? Yeah, apparently, the, yeah. Uh, apparently they reprinted that remastered. one, but not the good one. I like this one. This uh, one's not sorry, bad. Lester. Not terrible. That's the Ponza button. Is it really? I think was that the one. We so. we used to say it looks like a Ponza. Like yeah. a... I thought you guys played Temptus Lands in it. I don't, I don't think we cared that much. Grasback probably had all gurus. <laughs> I actually do. Ha I, I I need to talk to them. I only have three lightsaber and nulls. I didn't play them. Uh huh. Did you ever see the light the lightsaber? Again? Yeah. Yeah. I think he. I think ringleader is probably the better card to get, but he's probably gonna go tinker with the with the matron. Nimbus Maze looking land. Well, if if you're looking on Will's side, it's an island. If you're looking on Jeff, I'm guessing it's the Carplusion Forest. Or what? Yes, what the Nimbus oh. Maze looking land was. Hey. Ro Ro. They're fighting over there. Or the Owl Matron? Yeah. Yeah. Staple that. Let me get his little goblin. 
What's your other city? Oh, I don't know. I don't think Will had Hydroblast, right? He has he four Hydroblasts in his party. Yeah. What is that thing? Oh, curse Will totem? has the a curse, totem. curse Totem. Curse Totem. Nice Goblin. Yeah. <clears> he's got mismatched Curse Totems. Oh, so that's cool. I feel like I've seen this one grow up a lot. I thought, yeah, that's what I thought too, yeah. That art's sweet. That's real sweet. I feel like he must have drawn it, because why would he go to war over that patron if he has all the stifle, like... Maybe he thought he was going to get something other than... other. Maybe he thought he was going to get, like, ringleader, though. You can stifle that, too. Yeah. That's true. Right. Uh -huh. But then, I mean, they don't get a 2-2, two -two at least. Yeah. So... I'm trying to think of cards that, like, you'd be getting that you wouldn't be able to stifle. War Chief? I think it's more just not having another body in play. Okay. Here's the War Chief. Damn. Hydro. Where do you get the good picture for that one? Whoa. What? You probably bought it at Misty Mountain Games. That's where I get all my singles. Alright, so War Chief's down. Now we have Tinker. The Tinkerer. This one's not as exciting. Mm -hmm. With the cursed auto <clears throat> I think it's fine because so, he's got a ton of removal. So. If you have Tinker in play. Mm -hmm. You unnaturalize, and then they play their dreadnought. Do you naturalize the totem or do you naturalize the, <laughs> the dreadnought? I think you naturalize the totem. And the totem. Because the tinker is reusable. It doesn't die to the. It doesn't die to killing the dreadnought. It turns on their stifle. Oh, that's true. That's true. I, mean, I think it's all right. There's a lot of decision when you're playing the, st the stifle not deck on which, which card to use. The... Yeah, I did mess up one time again. Um, I, I guessed wrong. I think it's very uh. Well, Will's gonna go for a vision. Very target. situation based, not. right? Yeah. yeah. I was playing against. Oh, I played against Rock too, which was. Bye. But um, I messed up one. Are you time kidding me? Time. I'll run you over with Rock over and over. Again. I mean, I'll no do way. it. Unless your deed's great, you just stifle it. Nice card, bro. Yeah, nice hand of Kirby. <laughs> oh, look, look what showed up. Was it 12 12? Where is it? Yeah, where's the, where's the hall breaches and the naturalizers? And... <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Don't, don't let me down, <laughs> Jeff. I got this curse photo. Reading the card. The last is, that have even, that is that card even legal? Yeah, I'd call it, Judge. Never seen it before. All right, so Will equalizes. And yep. Now we're into game yep. three. Uh, One final game. Do you which which crown side do you like of this? Do you think the goblins is favored? Do you think? I it's... think I. I mean, I lost with blue stifle knot. I think the red goblins really is favored. Okay. I think Jeff said that too when I was like talking to him after the match complaining. Um, I think he was like, maybe he was just trying to console me and be like, I was supposed to win, bro. Mm -hmm. But I think that I think that the mono blue siphon out's a good list, but I just don't know if it's the right list at this point. You were pretty high on, you were debating whether playing blue white or mono blue yep. th this morning. Uh, um, I was super high on disrupt, and then I, I don't think disrupt was very good today. I was really high on that. It'll be really fun playing the mirror match, a portent, and then predicting the card that they put on top. It'll be really fun. Yeah. Just trying to guess what they what they put on there. I, I did, did that have... once and forgot what they. Uh... Oh, you're saying? Then, oh, you're saying yeah. it's not from the same player? I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. I thought right. you were just joking. Like, yeah. like no, I yeah, port yeah. you, and then I no, you, you port in oh, them. Oh, okay. And then you. Uh... I did have a a, a key match. Or port in yourself play. is. Or 10 predict is pretty good. Where my, my top eight, um, 
when it, he after he dressed me and he saw I had a vision charm, he then enlightened tutored for land tax. And then he didn't know if I would if I would vision charm his library or not, which I did. And I basically won because of that. Okay. Um we were kind of debating that whether or not how many players would actually vision charm that after a mulligan and after a dress. I just don't think you can I think that you can't fall far enough behind when they play land. Yeah. All the pile shuffles. That's what you can do when it's non That's non DCI. I'll shuffle. Put Jeff to sleep. Is, is Jeff still there? I can never tell. Uh, Jeff just went home probably. He's, I think he's there. It's a very very deliberate pile shuffle. It says. He's talking. <laughs> you must be talking. Yeah. That probably left the table to protest this pile shuffle. You can do it There's one, a lot one. of pre modern players in Europe, Grok Grok seventy six. Tons of boomers out there. Yeah, I would almost say it's I don't need like the community is just more together in, in Europe. Like I feel like they're yeah. able to get mm -hmm. huge tournaments. Yeah. They've had like 120 people on multiple I, tournaments. I feel like yeah. there's not a lot of French players in not comparison to like German, Spanish, Spain, Spanish, and, Spanish, Italian, and, uh, and That's Scandinavian. That's true. I don't hear a lot. A lot of I'm starting to hear about some like British okay. events happening. I, I haven't heard a ton of French ones. Well, but to be fair, Nassif was playing this on Nassif was playing pre modern. He was. When? Yeah, Nassif plays pre modern. No oh, way. Oh, he posted a list a long time ago. Yeah. I remember that. What was it? I, I think it was Blue Green Oath. Like I thought it was Blue Green Oath. Maybe. Oh, man. I was Him and that somebody list. else were playing it. Like, was it him and Levy maybe were playing it together a little oh, bit? Oh, man. I'd sit and watch that. Yeah. <laughs> they had like, um, they had like Shadow Mage infiltrators in their decks and stuff, though. So, stuff is just kind of fun stuff. I guess also in um, like Argentina and in, in South America. There's oh like yeah, there's, a, there's a really big South American community. Yeah, like they like they're real big on popper too over in Europe too, right? Like I mean, I, a lot more I like I like the popper format. Oh yeah, because Mangucci was playing in those yeah. like big paper tournaments. Yeah, they're able well, to like they're really able to get it, a lot more. A lot of Italian players. Look at that! Oof. I wanted that plaque so bad. Yeah, they are playing for this amazing plaque. Made by Will Hurst. <laughs> well, he did like most of the work at getting this thing made. That's one I've won I'm not trying to break it, but I've won a lot of tournaments. But I don't have a lot of plaques. You know, like you don't you get a lot of mats, but no plaques. Yeah, you get you have I have a drawer full of play mat. I have a bunch of top eight pins. One of mine broke last night. I think uh, I might have jinxed. How did you. it break? What are you just like playing with it? What are you doing? No, I, I pulled I haven't pulled out my cloth mat in like forever. Okay. And then like I pulled it out and also I just heard like a tinkle 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 and I looked at it and I'm like, it fell off, it broke. Oh, man. I know. I think I might have jinxed you because at one point in the top four match, you were down a game, though, and I said it, but like I was like, man, Lester always wins the really sweet prizes like the, like the custom play mats and the plaques and all that stuff. He's going to take this plaque. <laughs> I really wanted that plaque, too. Michael tried to buy it from them. That's why you play it, right? Because we had the plaque. Yeah. yeah. To, to be fair, like that was, you guys know I, I almost like didn't show up. I won the plaque. <laughs> You better show up if you're not playing. You should have done commentary. I know. <laughs> we'll make a commentator plaque for you. I'm, I'm, gl do that. I'm glad you played, though. <laughs> I'm glad you played. I'm glad I played, too. I got I got uh, an APAC land that keeps yeah. out Euros. Your here. first tournament. That's pretty good. Yeah. Top four of your first tournament. <laughs> and then they stamped in and ruined a it. A complete rookie. It's true. Oh, we'll get all demoralized when he tapped his mountain turn one and it was just a mock fanatic. It's so good. <laughs> oh, what? what is happening? That's aggressive. What is that? Did he that, Did he think it was a lackey or what? That I would just ask for a take back. Yeah. Did, did we did we set this up first red versus blue at the bottom? No, that's just coincidence. Maybe yeah. Will's just setting the tone, like everything you play, I'm I'm I got oh, it, bro. Yeah. Like, Will not... is I think he's still being I think he thought it was a lackey. He just didn't even read the card. Maybe it's a bluff. Maybe he's putting yeah. a, a flustered face in yeah, there. He's just going to 
Will's sure. got so many counters, he's just setting the tone. He's taking a walk. He's, he's gonna, yeah, he's going to take a little break. Oh, my God. Because he, like, he was, like, visibly, like, he did the upset when, he, when the lackey came down turn one. It wasn't a lackey. Okay. It was well, a fanatic. I, but he... See, now you're, now you're, yeah. We'll just pretend it was. That's a Mog Fantastic, guys. Like, it was going to do at least 20 points. <laughs> Definitely a misclick. <laughs> no. That guy's I mean, I it's, it's, it's true. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I know you know. Phil's comment. It's, it's clear he didn't think it was a mock for that because he would just counter it instead of destroying it. So it was clear that that wasn't his his thought. So That's a good question, too, though. Why didn't he just counter it in the first place? Like, why didn't he just. He, I don't know. Why did he let it get down? Well, he's got a decent counter spell there. Not a bad pitcher. Period. Like, it's what, not... what do you think of the Ice Age one? Oh, Ice Age one's great. Oh. We've got me and BK got kind of some personalized Tip, versions of that. Tipped up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we got some personalized ones. The artist for that, L.A. Williams, is a really cool guy, too. Um, he didn't awesome do the man. personalized one, though. No, he did not. Oh, he didn't counter it because, yeah, he, yeah, Jeff was on the play. Oh. Chat, Chat's yeah. paying attention or not. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Ice Age Corner Spell is probably top three, top four. At the OG, you got the arena. I think the mask one. I play I play arenas usually when I'm yeah. when it's real. I had him with me. What cards do you think Jeff has sideboarded out? Um, In those? The, no, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Incinerators. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just thinking incinerators and uh, probably. We've seen Mog Fanatic still, so. Um. I just we're in these situations where he just doesn't have a board, and I don't like it. Jeff showed me a sideboard, but I wasn't probably sharpshooter. Okay. Yeah, that. that but I, I kind of, I kind of don't hate sharpshooter. Uh, Chet's asking if they played no. Mistress Factory in Mono Blue a, a long time ago when people tried it. They would, but I think they moved yeah. just the consistency of being able to gush early versions. all the time and make foil better. They just play all islands. Yep. Some people have tried with Wasteland as well. But anybody try Lonely Sandbar? That's what I was talking to the Lester. There, there is a lot of situations where you can't actually foil because you don't have enough islands. Even when I was playing sixteen, so there were a few situations like that. I can't. Lonely Sandbar, you you'd be able to leave an island in your hand though. At times. Yeah. I'm not saying cut islands for it either. How often are you willing to, like, if you're Jeff, to fight over this album war chief with this pyroblast? Is that something you think you would? I guess he's really willing to fight over it. It's kind of, he's wasted two pyroblasts. Because to me, it, I mean, and we're really going to town on this war chief. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad card, but like, oh, I just great. feel like yeah. it, they're much more important positions. He might, he might not have any threats at all, though. That might be the situation we're in right now. But then, I mean, and he just wait like, hey, what is going on? We have a war chief that was. I think there's some question whether it got countered or not. Oh, I think it was whether that the uh, pyroblast was targeting the counter spell again. Oh, was it or... targeting gush or the counter? Oh, okay. I think this is targeting gush. This is this is kind of classy of Jeff to actually point out what's happening to what he's targeting. I mean, I could see merit of doing it either way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would make more sense that he's fighting over the gush than he's fighting over the counter spell. Do you think he must have a pile driver, right? If he's going this crazy. I think that Maybe. he doesn't have any other threats at all. He probably has a naturalize in hand. He's well, I, a fox. I would agree that the, the value of War Chief is a lot higher if you have cards like Pile Driver. That's in hand. true. Um, uh, if you or, got a Pile Driver in hand, then yeah. Just, I mean, but. And I don't know. We're still gonna foil it. Trying to play, trying to find alternate language versions of foil is very hard because it just brings up foils. Oh uh, yeah. Worth if it. anybody knows the uh, the search to type in for that, would be grateful. 
Did we see okay. the card that he discarded? The foil? Uh, it looks like an impulse, maybe. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Going hey, he 17. originally discarded Island Boomerang with the first time around, but he's still holding the Boomerang this time. So the Warchief comes down. Yep. Let's have Boomerang for it. Box the and clock play. and tick tock. How many Here's... cards is Jeff down to now? Six. Jeff's got one card in hand after casting Fanatic. I think this. Okay. He does not Boomerang the Fanatic. Is the end of turn Boomerang? Yeah. Supported. I don't Go know ahead. if I would use the, the, the boomerang there. Will's going to go for a gush. <clears throat> I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I just don't know if Will's got a clear plan on what he's trying to do in this right now. He just he's, uh, his be... plan is to find a dread though. <laughs> he seems to be just fighting kind of <laughs> random stuff though. I, maybe Peek is really good in this deck, but that way you just know how many answers they have to. But then you just feel bad when they draw one off the top. That's true. <laughs> if you play Peek, I guarantee your opponent's going to have the best draw possible every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it works. You can see, it's like dressing them, you know? Like, oh, there's six cards I can't beat. <laughs> okay, so Hydro Blast is going to get the, the War Chief. Does Warchief beat him though? I don't know. It doesn't. I, I, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it, at this point, I mean, Will's we'll probably just. Will's just spell flooded, I think. Thinking that yeah. he just wants the game to go. He's on. got a lot of action. I think I would. I mean, Jeff's draw is just. There's, there haven't been any threats. It's, oh. it's been oh, two man, boss fanatics is... and what, two Warchiefs? Yeah. This is a. Uh... It'd be a lot. Yeah, Jeff does have the totem. The I don't totem. like tapping that uh, that port there. Because if Will has an answer to this matron, he's going to want to tap down that land. Jeff's clearly going for DG. Well, the matron will not resolve. Mm -hmm. yeah. you get a what about, spike what about just letting the matron resolve and then countering whatever well, he Siege Gang's no good because there's Curse Totem now. Yeah, still still puts, you, still still puts, you like, is it a ringleader better? No, one puts five power in a put. Yeah. That like that is better against a dreadnought. I mean to be fair, Jeff Jeff seems very, very threat light. Maybe ringleader is better. That's true. But... Well if you're threat light, you probably won't want do yeah. one to see change. Now we're kind of in a spot where I don't I mean like Russian port is kind of doing a little bit of work. It's doing a little bit of work. He's going to try to force through a, a threat here. Mm -hmm. Will's actually gone through a lot of cards with like foils and stuff. He's fighting a good fight. This has oh. been a so crazy it, game. So is yeah. a Mog Fanatic, though. Can you imagine if a Mog Fanatic would have been to play this whole time? <laughs> oh, this has got to get countered. Right? Oh, no, there's a Curse Totem. There's mind. a Curse Totem. Curse Totem. Curse Totem. I want to say it too. That one does result. Oh, oh. he's got naturalized. He's naturalized. Ah. Like you didn't use your. Well, I guess you're, if you had a blue bla or a red blast, blue blast. I mean, use it now. That's like out of cards now. He's out of cards. Will's got a full grip. It, I mean, he still got pyroblast or hydroblast for it. Yeah, yeah. Like it, Will should have at least one left. I think he's used a lot of them. That's true. Oh, we'll have three cursed totems. No, Two. you try to fool us, Lester. Come on. He Two. had the other pitcher, I think. Or did he have, does he have null rod too? He's got null rod. Oh, there. I wanted to play mana matrix. Or was it mana or mana web? Okay, here's the dreadnought. Yeah. Gonna stifle it. No hand on Jeff's he, side. Yeah, he's gonna draw. Play a port. port. All right. This is looking good. This is looking good. Step one. Yeah. We're going to see Will. I wonder if he'll sell me that plaque for $5. <laughs> I 
And this is a situation we talked about whether you would do the first totem or the 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 dreadnought, and that might it come is. up. Okay, two ports. I hope to draw. Well, it's got this. We'll see. So, that nine. Here's the thing, people. We'll let the goblin deck know you can't have fantastic against me. <laughs> it's off the table, guys. And that scared the rest of the goblins from showing up. Boom. So yeah, nothing. And that's it. Will wins. Will is your Midwest pre-modern champion. Yeah. Oh my god. This is the second time he's won one of these tournaments that we've had. So. Yes. And this time he had the fake bluff throwing his Do no wrong. Like he was walking away. He knew what he was doing. Wow. He got tilted. He got up. Took a breather. Took a little breather. Gathered his gathered his head. Got back. Played his best magic and is the winner of this match and the winner of this tournament. Uh, that card was sweet for me all day. Reality Ripple. I mean, I boarded it out like a lot, but mm -hmm. the one time I did draw, it was really sweet. Yeah. Pretty awesome seeing that story play out, I think. Yeah. Like, just. But the problem is, it means that we were wrong. We, we were wrong. We, we picked the wrong deck. That's true. He doesn't have faith. Oh. We, we picked goblins in our, in our initial lineup. Oh, look at that. He still had a Hydro Blast. Will was playing good today. Boom. Hungry cards? Oh. You got my gold border cradle. Nice. Got the, got the sweet planes. Yeah. Can't go in your mono blue stifle lot list though. No. You, you at least can put yours in. Yeah. <laughs> we want to get. I think that might bring me up to ten of that picture now, which is kind of kind of important. Kind of what? Close of that um, APAC picture. Mm. Yeah, that was was crazy. With like the that turn, it was like yeah, it was a cool. Game. Goblin war chief. Hydroblast, Pyroblast, Gush, Pyroblast. Is... Pyroblast, the Gush, not yep. the Counter Spell. Yep. Now Will's pointing out the, the interaction. He's like, look, bro, this 12 12 has no abilities with the current storm in play. No activated abilities. Still yeah. tramples. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, activated yeah. abilities. Yeah. It has trampled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jeff might have won if he. Didn't naturalize a curse totem, I guess. But I still think freeing the tinker was more important. God, he did. He won the sweater and he won the plaque. He won everything. He wins everything. You want to go back to us? Okay. He just wins everything. He just wins everything. He's everything. He's, 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 he's a, a man. Winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. Some people are winners. Oh, and then Some people are winners. Jeff's like, hey, what did I win? Oh, you win a dreadnought, bro. You want me to sign that for you? <laughs> <laughs> Pick these prizes. <laughs> That's a sick Robin. His fate is just toying with us. So. Jeff did tell me he didn't want to play Goblin today, though. He was looking to play Reanimator. Okay. But he couldn't find the 7 7 Worms. But he actually wanted to play Reanimator. Oh, Symbiotic Worm? Yeah. I could never find that card either. It's like, it doesn't exist. How many you got? 20. Oh, wow. I can You're just I, talking about like normal you know, ones? Or like, you mean like foreign ones? No, no, just I have. I don't any. Have ones. I just have regular ones. Oh. I have a whole bunch Are they of new order? Huh? Are they new order? No, they're the original ones. They're oh, awesome. right. yeah. We're working on the trade live anything. here. He probably didn't even know that there was. Should a... we get uh, you know Will over here in this booth and? You know what I did grab for you, but I forgot is the four mana wars. I promise you, the four portal mana wars. Oh, was that last time you were in the booth that you? Yes, I, br I still have them. I'm, I will mail them to you. For Mike? No, for you. Me? Yeah, hey, you complain I never give you portal stuff. <laughs> you have my rats, uh, <laughs> Amnes rats. That's probably why the conversation paper. came up. I do <laughs> eating the eating the paper. I, well, I love that one. We probably want Will in one of these seats. So I don't know. Lester, do you want to jump out? Yeah, I'll jump out. I'll go get him. I'm staying. I'm Will staying. Back here? Put Will over here. Bad boy. Hanging out. All right, he'll be back here in just a little bit. Uh, you can do a little interview. Yeah, we'll get the champion of the booth any minute now. And uh, wow, what an event! Pretty yeah. great. Yeah, that I mean the the raffle thing I think went up pretty well. There, I feel like people were really excited about it. It's, mm -hmm. 
I, I wouldn't have guessed that people would have been more excited about a sweater than the decks, but uh, that was pretty <laughs> cool. So. Yeah, so... I think we I think we probably raised a little over a thousand dollars for the charity, so that was really great uh, for Briar Patch Youth Services. Yeah, got to do the math, figure it all out. Share my sin, then. You're right here, buddy. Oh, we're gonna get cozy. And welcome to the booth, Will Hurst, Hi. Midwest Midwest Premodern Champion, Will Hurst. Ooh, I got a plaque. I love this plaque, by the way. <laughs> I really do. That's what I want. And I got my sweater today. And you won the sweater. I, I won the freaking sweater. And uh, I'm cursed. Or I'm just, lucky. We were telling you, you're just, you're just a winner. You win. You're, I you're was, a person who wins. It, it feels like I'm having great luck. I really, I had to take that in finals. And kudos to Jeff being an awesome, awesome opponent. Oh, uh, yeah. He's just. He's a great guy. He's been great every interaction I've had. Absolutely. With him. And I had to take, so that game three, I had to walk away. Yeah, I tell can... us about that. The turn, <laughs> turn one, Mogradatic, you looked upset about it, and then yeah. you you took your turn and Hydroblast that, and then... Mm -hmm. Okay, the on, I don't have a good answer. I'm going to go with the real answer is, we had been talking between games about how Goblins always has Lackey. And I was, I'm tired, uh -huh. he plays a turn one Goblin, and he says, always have it. I don't even pay attention to what's on the board and just <laughs> reflectively just do it. And then I look up and it's a fanatic. And it's like, at right, that that's point, what I thought happened. I put my glasses down. I had to stand up. I walked away. I took your advice because I, I felt my neck just destroying yeah. itself. But we were just talking after the game. That game was so long. I was at nine life. That might have actually saved me the game. It might that have. was you a lot know. of fanatic hits. So it, maybe it works out in the end, but it was a really boneheaded, dumb, dumb. Uh, let's pay attention. Move. Was <laughs> how well, that it's, happened. It's, uh, it's it's good to t it's good to recollect recollect yourself and uh, absolutely get focused. Um, absolutely, when you feel that going away from you. Yeah, that goblin matchup a lot harder than it would seem. It is nowhere near the slime matchup. I I don't think it's good, and I think I I think it's I think it's kind of a bad matchup for you, especially after board. It feels like, and we were, we were playing this matchup we a few were, days ago. And he's running main deck naturalizes, just like I'm running main deck. So and or were you? Yeah. Well, it's still bad. <laughs> I feel like I was winning most of the sideboard games. You we were, were. Yeah, we were. hundred yeah, percent. It, uh, it was like not, not going well if I no. remember right, when we were testing it. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, way to persevere and, uh, find the cars he needed mm -hmm. and absolutely. And then, um, I definitely, before we go, I want to shout out a uh, briar patch. Um, and all the good work that they do. It's awesome. We were able to hold that for them. I want to shout out also uh, Championship Awards. They're here in uh, Monona, Wisconsin, next to Madison. They made the uh, they made amazing the plaque. plaque I, really... This is going up in my, my room. They were awesome to work with. Um, and in th this whole community, I've, I've been on a huge streak of pretty good luck. I, I'm going to call it luck a at this point. A complete tear. That's sure, what sure. It. It's a tear. He's on a tear. But... It, it's been a pleasure seeing and playing every day. The atmosphere in this whole event today was great. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, I think it was better, better atmosphere than all the other ones so far. It keeps going up. So that's good. We love the community. Absolutely. We love having it, having these events here. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, great way to finish out the pre modern year for, mm -hmm. for the store, I think. And uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these next year, probably at least, at least four of these tournaments. I'm next hoping year. so. And hopefully more, you know? Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep. It. Yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't played pre modern, we had a lot of people uh, jump in on the raid. But um, yeah, it's a great format. Uh, what you saw there, you you mainly just saw the same two decks play against each other. the The format is hugely diverse. There's mm -hmm. like, there's probably like seven tier one, six or seven tier one decks. Honestly. Absolutely, and that and, and that top eight was not like all decks. It was a plethora of different decks too. Yeah. That was awesome. So, I need a drink. <laughs> you any, and do you have any good stories over the course of the day? Uh, what, I, what, what was your what were your Swiss rounds like? Um, so I played uh, round one was against uh, a really cool trade win opposition deck. Um, round two we got to play against Sly, which can be an easier matchup. Then round three I got to play against um, Dylan, one of the employees here at the store, one of my good friends here in Magic. I had to play him twice. I played him in the top eight too. Feb is a really weird... Full English Breakfast is a really weird matchup for Stifle okay. Knot. They just... They have the... 
this card to make sure life is hard for you mm -hmm. and they can you if they start going you can't stop them so they were really much tighter games than I thought. but yeah, i learned a lot about sequencing mm -hmm. but the biggest thing was um he made it sound like he thought the match was bad though i think he's wrong okay i think he's wrong he i played him twice i played him in the swiss i played him in the top eight and every one of them felt like a battle yeah and who won the first time <clears throat> i did okay you, I was, both times both okay. times yep um the most interesting match I had was against uh, Ian round four. It was the parfait stifle knot match. Mm -hmm. That matchup came down to the point of I had to make a choice of do I try and land a dreadnought and fight it through, or do I save up my resources to um because I think he had used he had used two blessings. Mm -hmm. Do I save up the resources to vision charm and stifle a blessing and deck him? Because I had a I had a null right out to deal with his uh what's it called? The uh scroll rack, so he couldn't cycle through on that. Yeah. So that's the game I played for and he ended up having the um the uh guy's blessing hand. But I'm amazed at how many matchups with blue actually with blue not come down to you can just mill your opponent. And where stifle not doesn't matter. You can do that in parfait, you can do that against blue white control. You can do it against stasis. You can do it in the mirror. Right? You can do it in the mirror too. And I, I have a brain, a brain freeze in the sideboard as well to build on that. Yeah, super cool. It, it's, it's, a, it's a good idea. It's won me some monthly matches. I think I never had a chance to use it today, but yeah, I think that was the most. In, that's the most interesting matchup I played throughout the event. Parfait versus not is just such a grind fest of mm. how do you do this and when. And he snuck that one out, right? Um, yeah, he, he got yeah. me in three. He okay. got me in three. He had the blessing, but, uh, yeah. It's just, Stifle Knot's a great deck. Whether or not you, it's mono blue or it's blue white, I don't know what one is 100% better, but it's fantastic. And then round five? Round was... five was, um, Sam Black on his parfait. Okay. I beat him. Okay. And then round six was ID and N. Quarterfinals was, um, Feb against Dylan on camera. Uh, and then semifinals was another parfait deck. Yeah. And then uh, that one, that one I did get lucky. Um, yeah, that is a lot of parfait to play against the one day. So that was I was four matches against it. Three, three matches against part three. I think that's three. Three, three yeah. yeah. I three my, against parfait, two against Feb. <laughs> against Feb. I, I don't think I saw a positive. I, I'm not even sure goblins is a positive matchup. So it is. It is over chat. This is your champion, Will Hurst, has won two out of the three. Two out of the three Misty events. He's like our own Kai Booty here. I know, right? <laughs> and we get to add a plaque on it. It's going to be wonderful. It was a it was a great event, and I'm looking forward to more of them and just being able to travel to the various other events. Uh, I'd love to go out to LobsterCon this year. That would be great. I know the West Coast is doing their thing. So as, mo as much more uh, pops up, I'm mean, sure we're going to see great tournaments like this all over yeah, the place. I'm biased, but I, I think traveling for events is really cool. And uh, mm -hmm. you should, uh, if, you, if you see these larger events come in, uh, make, make it a point to go travel out to them. It's, Absolutely. It's... If you ever need a couch to crash out here, let us know. Someone's going to have a couch. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We had a great time. We, I think we raised about $1,000 for the charity. That's awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll, over that, I think. and. Uh, if you if you want if you want to donate more just get a hold of, hold of us uh it's a great we it's a great charity we chose up and out homeless youth in madison yep. disadvantaged youth in madison absolutely so great organization uh, all right that's cool all right. Thanks, thanks for joining thanks, us thanks guys take care